China goes to the dark side. China has deployed a relay satellite that's meant to bridge communication between Earth and a planned exploration on the far side of the moon. Xinhua News Agency reports Chui Chao, or Magpie Bridge, is named after a Chinese folklore in which magpies form a bridge to enable two star-crossed lovers to meet for one day. The Chui Chao satellite features a dish antenna and two solar arrays and was launched atop a Long March 4C rocket from southwest China on Sunday morning. Chui Chao is expected to enter a halo orbit around the second Lagrangian point and would be the world's first communication satellite operating in that orbit. Its main purpose is to establish a communication link between Chinese mission control and the yet-to-be-launched Chang'e 4 mission that will explore the moon's dark side. The Chang'e lunar rover and lander is currently scheduled for December 2018 launch. Chui Chao is also equipped with the Netherlands-China Low Frequency Explorer, a radio scanner that will search for ancient radio signals dating back to the early universe. The reason the satellite is able to do this is because it would be in the shadow of the moon, completely unaffected by Earth's interference. The future of space. Private companies drive new space race at NASA. NASA says it soon may be able to launch astronauts from U.S. soil to the International Space Station. Important project milestones are coming up for NASA's two commercial crew partners, Boeing and SpaceX, with several flight tests, including manned missions slated for 2018. Boeing is working on the CST-100 Starliner. The spacecraft can seat up to seven and is meant to send astronauts to the space station. Three Starliners are currently in production, with one set to carry astronauts next year. The pressurized vessel can be reused 10 times. SpaceX, which has flown cargo missions to the ISS with its Dragon spacecraft, plans to use the Dragon 2 to send astronauts to space. The Dragon 2 is the latest version of SpaceX's capsule model. It's designed to seat seven astronauts. Boeing and SpaceX must show that both of their systems are ready to start regular flights to the space station in order to meet NASA's requirements. SpaceX has its first test flight set for February, while Boeing's launch is planned for June. New Zealand joins the space race. Test launches for a commercial space rocket built by a startup based both in Los Angeles and New Zealand are scheduled to take place this week. The Rocket Lab Electron is made of carbon composite material, and its rocket boosters use 3D printed Rutherford engines. The rocket's first stage has a cluster of nine electric engines that burn liquid oxygen and refined kerosene. The second stage has a single vacuum-optimized engine that can carry payloads weighing up to 225 kilograms. The Electron rocket will deliver small satellites into space. They will be used for mapping, to predict the weather, provide high-speed internet, and analyze the environment. Rocket Lab plans to complete three test launches before the Electron is available commercially.